things that God has given to them to preach. But Paul is saying, not just humans, even angels from heaven. Now, how could Paul be talking like this? Does he know everything that there is to know? The obvious answer is what? No. Is revelation not progressive? The obvious answer is yes. But you see, progressiveness of revelation, the progression of revelation does not amount to contradiction. There is nothing that God said yesterday that will be contradicted by what God says today. Hello. If you are in primary four, you will know more elementary mathematics than somebody in primary two. You will know more. You don't know contrary. Are you with me? I may be, if somebody is in a primary one and they only do three letter words, A, N, Y, any, you are now in primary four. You know that A, N, Y, H, O, W is anyhow. Now, you know more than the person, but what the person in nursery two or primary one knows is constitutive of what you know. What you know is bigger, but what you know is not over. It's not contrary. So, when we come up with these kinds of things, we are not trying to say that revelation is not progressive. We are not trying to say that we know everything there is to know. Obviously, that isn't what Paul was trying to say. Yet, Paul was confident to say that if anybody, including us, if we come back to change our mind with regards to the gospel we have preached to you before, or if an angel from heaven, I love the fact that he qualified this angel. The one from heaven. Even an angel from heaven, if an angel from heaven came and preached a gospel to you that contradicts the one that we had already preached, let that person or angel be accursed. 